I have been delighted with this. I give it my most complete recommendation. Hi hey everyone, welcome back to my next video. Uh, today we're gonna do a long-term review. We're gonna check back in about the swing away trailer hitch. Uh, I've had this for about four years now. It's kind of expensive. Just the frame is $300 on Amazon 309. And um, I bought the boxes and I built the uh, plywood base uh, myself. I've got a video showing all of that so you know how to do it. But um, it's been four years now. And so after four years, do I still think this was worth it? And absolutely 100% I am delighted with with this uh, product it has worked tremendously for me it's almost all outdoor gear stuff excess stuff some of it is stuff that i carry because i'm a youtuber uh i have a, in this one virtually everything in this one is uh, uh products i'm testing doing long-term testing on so i have to carry them but they're not things i would use or own but they're just in here because i'm testing them uh, that one is outdoor stuff but yes absolutely i am delighted and it's just the frame you won't be able to see it because it's all built on you it'll sit underneath you can't see it but um and it's got this arm and it's super super heavy duty stuff i can i've climbed up in on here and cleaned the cleaned the solar panels and stood on top N no impact it's super super strong and sturdy it swings away i've loaded them up and swung them back and forth it, they're just fantastic um the main thing I do like is that I can get this door open that much so I can get an airflow and I uh, I really like that when I'm in in I'm in Oregon in the summer because my mom is um, she's coming to the end of her life she's frail I spend the summers in Oregon parked at my sister's house and, and it hit a hundred and five in Medford last week literally a hundred and five and so I will open this back door and leave fans running and it'll draw air through out through my uh, fantastic fan in the roof. Makes a huge difference. It's still miserable hot in 105. But um, now if someone knows what they're doing, they can just swing this away. But if you don't know what you're doing, you can't figure out how to get this door open. And if, and if you know what you're doing and how to do it, it's going to be obvious that someone's trying to figure out what's going on and they don't belong there. So... In a sense, I really like the fact that I can open the door part way and uh, not open it and people can't get in and steal things. And so I really like that. It works out to be a bonus that I had never even considered. Uh, and so that's a really good thing. I love the storage. I love that it gets out of my way. I can open both the doors. Uh, it's held up super, super well. One of the questions people have right away is, well, Bob, uh, don't you grind on it? I mean, it hangs out there a long way back, and I've I've had it for uh, four years, and I love taking this van places this van should not go, D uh, ditches like this, and I think in the four years, I could count on one hand the number of times it's ground, and none of those were an issue. Uh, I could hear it uh, ground, and no big deal. Uh, so absolutely not. It actually rises up. I'll try to get under there and then I shot a video of all this so I'll put a link to it in the description and right here above and you can go back and watch that and I put it in a pretty good depth and it doesn't even get close to grinding it's a super super fantastic thing well worth $309 now they make them completely kitted out with uh, with a big nice box that are, they have lights on them so you can just tap into your uh, to your uh, to your hitch lights, uh, if you have a if you have a tow hitch, then there, there's lights there, and I have them there, and it's uh, you just plug in and you have lights. Uh, that's very expensive. It's well over seven hundred dollars, depending on all the features you get, but it's well over seven hundred dollars. So this these two boxes were uh, less than a hundred dollars, and I probably got fifty dollars worth of hardware, the plywood, the paint, uh, bolts. It's bolted to the frame. It will never ever come off. The boxes are bolted to the plywood, which is bolted to the frame. Uh, you could not, you'd have to come out here with a pry bar or a saw and just cut them to pieces to get in here, uh, which would be easy. I mean, you could just cut right through this. 
I mean, you really easily, you could just cut right through this. It's just plastic. But you're, it's pretty obvious what you're doing then. It's pretty loud. It's pretty obvious. I have never had in four years any issues. The majority of the time, I don't even leave them locked. They're dummy locked. This one's, see, so that's dummy locked. Um, you just turn it like that, and at a quick glance, you can't even tell it's unlocked. And, and most of the times, I'll leave them unlocked. If I have anything valuable that I care about, I'll lock them. But it's just, um, uh, that's been fantastic. My, I have a, I give you one, a 100% recommendation. Gives you some room out of the, um, out of the uh, van. Uh, right now, I'll go ahead and show you how to swing it away. It's triple secure. There are three latches that you have to undo before it will turn away. So you've really got to be negligent. Uh, it happened to me one time. I was very negligent. I drove away, and it was swinging back and forth. Fortunately, no harm done. It is so massively built that there was no harm done, even and then I'm driving down the road with the thing swinging back and forth. What a dummy I am. Well, it happened only once. I do, I do make mistakes that time, but I generally learn from them. It only happened once. Okay, so I'll show you how to get this thing open. So uh, this is uh, security number one. With the pin in there, it literally cannot open. It just cannot. Uh, but all you gotta do is pull it out and drop it down, and now you can you can open it. So that's just a security. That's why I had to cut this hole so I could get in here. But you can see how massive this bolt is and that iron. This thing is hell for strong. I, I am never going to give a thought to whether this is going to fail on me or not. And so now we're down, we're looking down, uh, and it's two security pieces here. This is literally a little bolt that goes in, screws in there. Um, and it screws out, but even, so now that's free, it's not gra grabbing anymore, but even now you can't open it. I have to lift this up, so you can see it comes like that and it's latched. So now it cannot open. I cannot make that open, so I have to lift it and now it is free. So it has these two and the pin over there and now it's free. And so now it's free, I can just swing it away. I mean, it's just swinging away, there's nothing, anyone can do it. It does go all the way out to there. The, this door does not open all the way. That's kind of a disadvantage. It only goes that far. That's not bad. I don't have a problem with that. Um, and then I kind of use this as a, a garage. A lot of people do that. I've got about six inches. This one goes all the way. So that just swings all the way open. I do kind of use it as a garage here. These are my um, traction boards. I've got a video coming out on traction boards. I've got a little, you know, expanding ladder, my table. I've got a solar panel that I'm testing uh, there. And this piece of wood, I have a project coming up. I'm going to use that piece of wood for, and there's my chair. Um, so it's just kind of a, a garage. The bed goes across and the yeah, this is kind of curved. You can see it's kind of curved here. So the bed goes across and it left about eight inches to use as a garage and I, that's, I took advantage of it. I, I like the idea of using this as a garage across the back, but it's easy access. I can get in here. Those three things, the doors swing open, I'm in. And when it's hot, I can get them open. I can get a, you know, a, a full airflow going through here. You can see this is just really strong metal. You can see this curves up really well. That's why I don't have problems. It's up so high. It's Stowaway, that's the name of the company. Swing away. Big chunk of metal there. Uh, I've been very, very happy with it. When I need to get in the back, I can without the slightest problem. Just to close it up, it's just the opposite. You just uh, ram it home. It just grabbed and threw it in, self-locked. I put that screw bolt back in. Now drop the pin back in. So again, let me just say I have been delighted with this. I give it my most complete recommendation. It's a lot of a lot of steel and weight hanging off the back. I'd give that a serious thought if I had a minivan, just because if you're so loaded up in the minivan and then you put this on the back, you could not pull the hatchback up with this. Um, it may not. It, you might need a full size van to make this work, but it works super super well. So again, 100% recommendation. I love this thing. I can't, as long as I'm in a van, I will have this on here, I think. 
Okay, I hope that helped. That gave you a gave you a long term review and an update on what I think of this and how well it works. Uh, if you got anything out of this video, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you later.